Papers, I am not going to allow you to start off with a question. Have you ever had fast food? Well, I have, and I'm going to tell you about why it's bad for our health. That is not high school level writing. Doing the question intro, my wife, who's a full-time writer, would argue is one of the most difficult strategies to do. And I remember when she was reading aloud a writer's work that she was editing for Forbes. And this writer used a question intro, and it sounded like it was out of middle school. Uh, discussing the stock market or is discussing climate change. I forget what it was about. Like, um, but the, the, the point is professional writers struggle to do the question intro. Well, a question intro can often be too simplistic. And then the reader doesn't really want to read your article. It doesn't capture the main idea. No, this writer, Mary Roach and the yuckiest food in the Amazon, her intro is so good. What she uses is the specific to general strategy. The specific is, it's a study about Paul Rosen's 1986 toddlers eating food. And can you convince the toddlers to eat it, even if it's described like dog poop? And she goes to a general statement. This is the main theme of the article. This is why she's writing this article about the Achua tribe. She writes, disgust is learned. Culture is our instructor. That is a golden line. That is the thesis of this essay, this article. So notice she's going from the specific study, Paul Rosen did, to her general statement about food. That is a much more powerful intro strategy. And during this uh, research paper, I'm going to share about four strategies that we're going to practice for your essays. And I'm not going to allow you to do the question. You're better than that, and you just need to see some better examples. Many of you will use this specific to general in our research papers.